you start Stardew Valley for the first time. You clear out the farm a bit, plant your starting crops and explore the world a bit. Afterwards, you just repeat and improve upon, with more crops and more work. But a big essential thing that a lot of players miss is improving your relationship with the villagers in the valley. Today I'll be talking about the 7 more important villagers that you need to raise your friendship level with faster at the beginning. At the end of the day, they are all important for the completion of the game, but for a starting farm, these will offer the highest return overall. But everyone, before we start with the video, consider subscribing to my channel since it helps me out a lot and I really appreciate it. So let's get started! Friendship in Saru Valley are important, since as you increase that level with certain villagers, you can get things sent to you which can help you out on your farm, as well as unlocking certain story related cutscenes where you learn more about those villagers. We'll be starting off with Caroline. She's quite important at the beginning and it's highly recommended you increase the friendship with her at the start of your brand new farm. Caroline is found in Pierre's store and the thing with her is after you increase her friendship level to 2, you will need to enter the sunroom at Pierre's store to unlock a cutscene and a very special cutscene at that. The cutscene will be weird at the start, but the most important thing is that the very next day you will receive the recipe to craft tea saplings. These are really important for a starting farm, so it's really good to try to improve the friendship with Caroline as fast as possible. Tea saplings produce tea leaves every day in the last week of the season, but they are not important for that reason, as much as they can be sold purely as tea saplings for 500 gold each, and to craft one you would need 2 mixed seeds, 5 wood and 5 fiber. When you think about it, like at the start you'll have tons of those and if you can make tea saplings you can sell them for quite a lot at the start though. You can just give her all of the flowers that you find during foraging and by doing that and unlocking the tea saplings you'll be making a money making machine that's giving you a tremendous boost at the start of your brand new farm basically. So go for her. The next villager that is also really important to befriend early on is Marnie. And even though I hate her a lot though, for not being there when you need her the most, like basically in the winter when my animals are starving and she's just like watching the microwave, the popcorn are more important, come on. She still can help you out with her gift though. And by gifts I mean the free hay that we get from her as a random gift though. Hay is always welcome for me since at the start you may not have a silo or grass on the farm, so she is quite useful to befriend early on and you will have a chance to get some hay in your mail. Another quite important village to befriend early on is Robin, which is the local carpenter. Being a carpenter you can already deduce what she will send you in mail though, like come on, and that is wood. Every starting farm will need huge amounts of wood for equipment, for buildings, for everything basically, and like even requests like fixing up the bridge at the beach, because that needs around 350 pieces, like come on, that's a lot though. So the extra 50 wood that she can send you in the mail can sometimes be a lifesaver. That's one whole new chest that you can craft to store more wood in. But the more important thing is that at 7 hearts, she unlocks the recipe for the pumpkin soup, which can boost your luck and defense by 2, making the mines or skull caverns expeditions more profitable in the long run. So she's quite important. The next one that I really want to mention and that is the local sweet guy and that is Linus. Ever since I started playing Stardew Valley, from the first time I met him, I've befriended him in all of my playthroughs. He's such a sweet guy and I always want to help him out the most basically. But that in the end will become quite important since he teaches you a bunch of important recipes. At 3 hearts he teaches you the sashimi recipe, which is a great energy source at the start by just cooking a single fish. Just be careful which fish you have in the fridge, because when making a sashimi, it uses any fish that is in the fridge, or in your inventory basically. So be really careful not to make a legend fish sashimi. I regretted that one day though. Also at 4 hearts he will teach you how to craft wild bait, which can help you out in your fishing adventures. So that's a point plus to the good guy Linus. It's just too bad that he doesn't want to move in with us on the farm though. Speaking of resources, another quite important villager that we need to befriend early on is Clint. As being the local blacksmith, he can be really useful since he can send you materials like copper, iron and gold bars in the mail. 
he is not a big game changer like Caroline, but for starting farms he is really useful since every material is important. Getting a gold bar at the start means you will be able to get at least a quality sprinkler going or something similar, much more earlier, making your farming life much more easier. He also sends you two recipes for an algae soup at 3 hearts and a bean hotpot recipe at 7 hearts, which can help you get a plentiful energy boost for your early mining and woodcutting adventures. For the next one, I can't really count him as a villager since he doesn't live in the village but technically he's a part of the community and that is the wizard. He can be found in his tower and he's important to progressing the storyline of the game. He doesn't offer much in terms of relationship bonuses except that you unlock his basement at 4 hearts which gives you access to the shrine of illusions. You can use this to change your character's appearance for 500 gold so it's a little neat thing for sure though. He will also send you items in the mail which can be quite useful. He sends you a variety of gems as well as shadow or solar essence. The gems aren't that helpful except the jade, jade is precious, and I think the essences are much more important since you would need a lot of them for crafting bombs basically at the end game. As for the last villager that you need to keep an eye out and that is Willy. He doesn't offer much in other aspects like materials or crafting recipes, but he does however give you cooking recipes that boost your fishing skill, which can be a really helpful boost to all of the fishermen out there. He sends you chowder at 3 hearts, escargot at 5 hearts, fish stew at 7 hearts and lobster bisque at 9 hearts. All of those offer a decent boost to your fishing skill and you will be able to catch some of the more difficult fish with the help of those so having him as a friend can be really helpful. So there you have it, those are the villagers which are the most important to befriend at the start of the game. Getting the hearts up faster with these villagers will offer you a better start in the game overall where you can get free useful items early on in the game. Which are the villagers that you aim to befriend early on the most and which one do you like the most? Everyone has a different playstyle and makes different choices in their games so please let me know down below. But everyone, if you enjoyed today's video don't forget to leave a like and if you like to see more content like this feel free to subscribe to my channel since it helps me out a lot. I also have a discord channel so feel free to join us there for some chatting and if you like to support my channel even further consider joining me on Patreon or the YouTube membership option which can help me out a bit though. But that's just purely optional so you don't have to do it, my videos will always be free for everyone. I hope everyone has an amazing day and I will see you all in my next one. But till then, stay safe!